You got pirates. Pride, tradition, passion. Be proud of who you are and what you are. You got pirates. When they face adversity, plant their feet, take a brace, hit them right in the jaw, and say, bring it on. Want some, get some. ECU Athletics and U.S. Cellular present The Ruff and McNeil Show. Brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless provider of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to The Ruff and McNeil Show from right here at Keenan Stadium in Chapel Hill. What a terrific performance by the Pirates. We're going to have highlights coming up with Coach Ruff in just a couple of minutes. Also coming up on our show, you know, it was a scary situation with Josh Hawkins a couple of weeks ago. He went down with a concussion. He was back. He played against North Carolina thanks to some great medical attention, and we'll take a close look at what Josh has been going through the last couple of weeks. Also coming up, it's our Camp Connors feature with Jeff Connors, strength and conditioning coach at ECU. And for the Pirates, it's back on the road again to Middle Tennessee to take on the Blue Raiders next Saturday. Ruff joins me right after this. The Ruff and McNeil Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Download the Mascot and Me app for iPhone and Android from U.S. Cellular to get your picture with Petey. U.S. Cellular. Hello, better. Hey, I'm Bruce from His Wireless Company. He could have switched to U.S. Cellular and been rewarded with a new phone faster, but why do that when you can just make your old phone feel new again? <laughs> Happy birthday, honey. Dad, this is my old phone. No, it is not. It's got that new phone smell. Smell it. Smell it. I did. It smells like lies. Smells good to me. U.S. Cellular believes you deserve better. With reward points to get you new phones faster. U.S. Cellular. Hello better. It's college football season, and the orders are pouring in. Sales spike, I'm happy. Profits up, I'm happy. Millions of fans, no time, I'm nervous. Can we handle the logistics? Use UPS. Digital tracking, proactive alerts, less paperwork. We save time, customers get what they need. Everybody's happy. Hey! Buckeye's happy. Gator's happy. Hog's happy. I'm happy. 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 It's a win. 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 Win! I love logistics. North Carolina's leader in distance education, a degree from an established university, an opportunity for a brighter future, a real option for adult learners. East Carolina University. The Ruff and McNeil Show, presented by U.S. Cellular, continues with sponsorship by BB&T, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Welcome back to the show. Ruff joins us now, and uh, Coach, just a terrific, terrific performance by your football team. Yeah, I was proud of the boys. I thought they did a good job, really, in preparation, Jeff, beginning of the off week, open week, this week. Good job, coaches, great job of uh, coaching them and, and teaching each day. And uh, know, we, know we're coming to a place that a team that just came off a loss, tough loss at Georgia Tech at home, first time in a long time, would play inspired. So I was proud of the kids and the way we handled it. I know it has to be big for you too, Ruff. You competed against these guys and also have coached against them, and you finally get a win against these guys. Yeah, you know, it is. It's sweet to get the win. And, uh, man, and you know, I am too, J JC. For the players, I'm happy for them. And um, I told them last night, my job is to be a servant. I'm the greatest servant that ever lived. And if I'm a warrior with that, that's even better. But <laughs> I want to serve them. So it was good. But for me, yeah, it, it, it meant a lot. Yeah, we got together on Thursday like we always do, and I sense you were very confident about this football game. I was, and, and, and you and I spoke. Um, I was confident about our team and how we prepared. Uh, it was nothing about UNC, because I knew we were facing a very talented team. I was, I felt very confident about how we prepared and, and uh, our, mind, our mentality, so I was happy with that. Then they carried over practice into the game. 
Well, I'll tell you what, the Pirates came out right from the get-go, and they delivered the first blow. Let's now pick up those first half highlights. What a beautiful day for football. 68 degrees at kickoff time, an announced crowd of 60,000, and roughly pick up the action. You guys get the ball first, and you come out throwing, and Lance Ray makes the first catch. Oh, it was a great toss, uh, great catch by Lance. Lance is a guy that can run the football in his hands. Great job. And Shane Carden uh, really was on target in this one, wasn't he? And he hits Justin Hardy here for 13 yards. Yeah, his old faithful, Justin, great catch. Again, uh, great job by Shane, getting a great read here. And I know you wanted to get the running game going, and Tay Cooper goes for eight yards here. Yeah, uh, Lincoln felt like having a balance attack today would be good for Shane and, and us, and it, it worked to that advantage. And the Pirates move the ball right down the field, and Carden hits Justin Hardy, a six-yard touchdown pass, and East Carolina jumps out. Seven to nothing. And then how about Chip Thompson, coach? He was all over the field. He makes this interception here on the pass by Renner. Chip. Chip's been on, on point since uh, spring, summer, and fall. Great job today. And then Shane Carden gets the ball back for the Pirates. And a first look at Breon Allen, the junior college transfer. And this one's complete for eight yards. Yeah, we felt like wanting to play Breon, get him some reps, and, and uh, get him involved. And he did. Did a good job all day, I thought. And then here's another new guy, walk-on freshman from Washington, played for the Pam Pack, Jimmy Williams, wearing number 27, and this one's complete for 17 yards. Yep, Jimmy's been, been on our radar since he got here back in fall camp. Good job today by Jimmy, big catches. And then Shane Carden throws this one complete to Lance Ray, seven-yard touchdown. Pirates jump on the Tar Heels, 14 to nothing after one quarter. We pick up highlights now in the second quarter. And Carden throws this one complete to Davon Grayson. He just continues to make big plays. And Davon's that guy. He's consistent and does a good job. He's one of those kids y'all y'all met him and know him. And I was proud of Davon. And then another big run here by Cooper. This one goes uh, for 12 yards, and then Carden back to throw again. It's Justin Hardy, old Mr. Reliable here for 18 yards, and Pirates are moving the ball right down the field. And then Carden takes this one in rough from one yard out. Great play faking in the backfield. He just walked into the end zone. That was a great read. That's a read we have to, as a quarterback design or option play for Shane to read the end. He did a good job reading it and, and keeping it. All Pirates, they lead 21 to 3. East Carolina comes back with the ball after, again, uh, possession by North Carolina. And Carden throws this pass complete to Cam Worthy, and Cam had some big catches. Cam's good. I'm, I'm, Cam's a good player. He keeps coming every week, too. Um, that's the depth we talk about there. And the biggest run of the day from Tay Cooper. This one rough goes 26 yards. He's like a little pinball out there sometimes. He bounces off of guys and makes big runs. He has great balance. Uh, he's strong. Uh, he has great vision. And then again, here's Shane Carden, another great read here, Ruff. He takes this one in from one yard out. Yep, it's a good job. Lincoln's calling that option for him. To, he can run or throw it off that, and he's done a good job making decisions. All Pirates in the first half, 28-10, to 10, East Carolina at halftime. Petey the Pirate continues to roll in the Capital One mascot challenge. He currently is tied with Montana, South Florida, and Toledo as the only mascots who have yet to lose a head-to-head -head battle through the first three weeks. Pirate fans are encouraged to visit CapitalOneBowl.com to vote and participate in social media challenges to earn Petey points throughout the season. 16 mascots were selected to compete in the challenge. Petey is currently dominating Boston College's Baldwin the Eagle in the Week 4 matchup. The regular season continues through Week 12 with a two-week playoff to follow. It won't hurt, I promise. And it's just a little pinch. Come on, get it together, please. East Carolina's Petey the Pirate is ready for the Capital One Mascot Challenge. Are you? Go to CapitalOneBowl.com to vote today. We'll be right back with more of the Ruffin McNeil Show, presented by U.S. Cellular and sponsored by Suddenlink. Bundle and save with Suddenlink. Call 1-877-807-3806 today. And the orders are pouring in. Sales spike, I'm happy. Profits up, I'm happy. Millions of fans, no time. I'm nervous. Can we handle the logistics? Use your PS. 
digital tracking, proactive alerts, less paperwork. We save time, customers get what they need. Everybody's happy. Hey! Buckeye's happy. Gator's happy. Hog's happy. I'm happy. 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 It's a win. 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 I love logistics. Time to switch to Suddenlink is now. Get our best package with HDTV, internet, and home phone for just $30 per service monthly when you bundle. This package also includes TiVo Any Room DVR service on up to three TVs for $19 a month and your choice of an internet speed upgrade or Wi-Fi for only $10 a month, all with no contracts. Get TV, internet, and home phone for $30 each when you bundle. Switch now. Call 877-478-7860. Order Suddenlink today. How do you measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge. The drive to innovate. The commitment to improving communities. And the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. Welcome back to the show. The Pirates have the lead at halftime, and Ruff, I would guess in the locker room, it was like keep the pedal to the metal, just keep uh, being aggressive. Well, it was. We talked about a couple of things, doing their job, making sure that, make routine plays, play the next play, and finish, 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 finish. And we did that. That's World Owl's second half highlights. Pirates get their first possession in the second half, and Carden throws this one complete to Cooper. He made eight catches rough out of the backfield. Oh, yeah, he was, uh, that's Coop's strength. He can catch the football, and Shane did a good job of going through his reads and checking down to, uh, to Tay. Tay did a good job uh, making positive yards. And when he did need a breather, you got Hairston in there, and he goes up the middle, three yards for this touchdown. Yeah, that was good. Chris has got that ability, and, and I was glad to see Chris get in there. He's, he's got a positive attitude. He's a great team player. And then we see a big play here by the Tar Heels. This one goes for 24 yards. They hit blue out of the backfield on a 24-yarder. Hey, AJ's a good player. Uh, he's from Gastonia, friends with Zeke, so we know how good he is. And, uh, you know, he's a good player. He's from Gastown, right? He's from, he, he's from Gastown in <laughs> the gas house. <laughs> exactly. Renner then uh, throw this one uh, completed. goes to Howard for a three yards in the touchdown for North Carolina. They're trying to get back in the game. It's 35-17. to 17. And then the Pirates come back again, and here's Justin Hardy catching one for 14 yards. That was a big catch uh, to keep momentum going. I thought our offense did a great job of answering. Defensively, we did a great job. We knew we were facing an offense that had uh, potential ability to stretch you, and uh, they did a good job. And Offense did a great job of answering. Yeah, they really did. A lot of heroes in this one. Isaiah Jones, your true freshman, he catches one here for 21 yards. Yeah, that was a big catch and run after catch by Zay. Uh, I was really, I'm proud of him. We moved him to Z, outside receiver. He did a good job of uh, learning that position. And then Shane Carden again for another touchdown. Rough, this is the third one. He runs in from one yard out. That was good. That was the one after the catch. I thought that Davon had in the end zone, had replay, but another great read by Shane. Yeah, Pirates have a 42-17 lead. North Carolina puts a touchdown on the board late now in the third quarter, and Tay Cooper runs uh, this one for 28 yards. Look at the little guy go. He just had a terrific game. Yeah, Tay's a good job reading his blocks well. Offensive line, great job. Receivers doing a great job on those long, run, on those long runs like that. 42-24, Pirates with the lead as we go into the fourth quarter, and you start the fourth quarter rough, and Warren Harvey lines up for a field goal, and this one's good from 32 yards. Yep, you know I feel about Warren. He's, he's an all-conference player, one of the best I've been around, and we, feel good, we felt good about getting three right there. 12 Pirates caught passes in this game. Danny Webster gets one here for 15 yards. Yeah, great distribution by Shane and Lincoln in the offense. And then Warren Harvey comes in again. Ruff, he's two for two on the day. He gets this one from 29 yards. Yep, I felt like we needed that to, to get to keep the, uh, the touchdown lead, three touchdown lead, I think, at that time, if not mistaken. And it was good by – great kick by, by Warren. Yeah, 48-31, Pirates with the lead. Now the defense comes to the forefront here. And Renner sacked for a 12-yard loss here, Ruff. And Terrell Stanley, I thought he really played well. Terrell's one of my leaders, one of my best players, and, and uh, it was good to see Terrell step up like he did. And, and uh, I'm, I'm, again, I'm proud of the kids, but Terrell's been a, been a rock for us. And then late in the game, Shane Carden just throws this one up down the sideline. He figured he had a free play. It looked like North Carolina was offside, and he hits this one big for 48 yards. Yeah, we were just trying to really draw him off sides and delay the game for a punt there. But, uh, you know, when he jumped off sides, the routine is to take the, uh, the free play, and we did. And, Great catch by Lance, great run, you know, proud of it. 
And then, of course, the greatest play of the game. It's the victory formation, and the Pirates win. Absolutely love that formation, Jason. <laughs> no doubt about it. Painted purple as the Pirates win in Chapel Hill, 55-31. to 31. You know, we came out here. Um, my whole mindset was no no fear. No fear of this team. No fear of where we're playing. No fear of what what's around us, the noise, the negative talk. It didn't matter. Uh, we came out here. This one's for Pirate Nation. This one's for Pirate Nation. We know how much this means to our school, our university, Greenville City. And uh, it's it's an awesome feeling. And we we it's for those guys. It's for everybody who's who's been here, who who's lost here, who who had tough games here, who who who's not been able to, to to come away with a win against Carolina. I mean, this is for everybody. This is for Pirate Nation. And I mean, we did it for everybody back at home in Greenville. When you win a game like this, there are an awful lot of heroes. But let's start with Tay Cooper. What an impressive performance he had, Russell. Uh, it was a great performance by Tay and offensive line did a great job of, of providing them areas and, and zones to run and. Uh, Shane did a good job of getting involved in the passing game. Tay's a football player, uh, really understands the game, great vision, uh, power runner, great job today. Yeah, terrific job from a terrific young man. We'll have more with Ruff right after this. Former Pirate Dwayne Harris hauled in this 24-yard strike from Tony Romo as the Dallas Cowboys whipped up on the Rams 31-7. It was number 17's first touchdown of the season. has thousands of miles of road, and they can take you just about anywhere. And with Nationwide Insurance, the number one insurance provider in North Carolina, you'll be protected on all of them. So whether you find yourself on the Blue Ridge Parkway or cruising along the Beltline, Nationwide Insurance has you covered. Nationwide is on your side. For a free quote, call your local Nationwide Insurance agent, Jim Walker in Kenston or Jeff Howard in LaGrange. I'm Bruce from their wireless company. They can get reception where they need it with U.S. Cellular, but why miss a chance to get closer with your neighbors? Phyllis, call the sheriff. Signal searching varmints, get your own reception. All right, see you tomorrow, everybody. U.S. Cellular believes you deserve better with national coverage where and when you need it. U.S. Cellular, hello better. Are you making dinner the play of the week? Ready, break. Now your game time decision is easy with the Big Dinner Box. Only from Pizza Hut, America's number one choice. There's no better way to feed your hungry team. With Pizza Hut's Big Dinner Box, you get two medium pizzas, five breadsticks, and your choice of wings, stuffed pizza rollers, or pasta for just $19.99. It's the ultimate game day feast, and it's only from Pizza Hut. We all have a choice. Make it great. Nine seconds to go. Miguel Paul's got the ball up top. Miguel keeps the dribble alive. Lebo says, go to the hoop. Here's Miguel with it. Gives it to Richmond. Three is up. And good! At the buzzer! At the buzzer! Hakeem Richmond hits the shot. At what the a buzzer. shot, Jeffrey! Unbelievable, incredible. 77-74. They're stunned here in Austin, Utah. <laughs> The Ruffin McNeil Show, presented by U.S. Cellular, continues with sponsorship by BB&T. Sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. It was a scary situation when Josh Hawkins went down in the Virginia Tech game. The young man had a concussion. We'll look and see what he's been going through recently with our Brian Meador. Thrown for over 6,300 yards in his Virginia Tech career. He's out of the shotgun. He'll throw to the left side. It is caught right at the 10. A player down on the play. It's a pirate down at the 15-yard line. Oh, no. Josh Hawkins. Man, the last thing I remember 
before the lights went out is I was backpedaling and uh, or shuffling and then I was going up to make a tackle for a screen. I just like went at, went to shoot the legs and uh, I just went to shoot and uh, Terry Williams, he came in and I, I hit his knee or whatever and I just went down. And when Josh went down, he wasn't moving. It's a sight no fan, coach, or especially a teammate is prepared to see. I was getting back in the huddle uh, to play the next play and I saw him laying down and uh, right then, you know, I didn't see him moving. So it was kind of a scary moment you don't ever want. Emotions aside, it was time for ECU's athletic trainers to spring into action. Head trainer Jake Moore was the first to respond. Anytime we suspect a head or neck injury, we, we act as if there has one occurred, um, even if one hasn't. But if we suspect, we go ahead with that protocol. The protocol for Jake meant stabilizing Josh's head and neck. And we practice it, athletic trainers on staff, the fit team physicians. So when things do occur like that, it comes uh, you know, second nature to us, so we don't even have to think about it. After a few moments, an encouraging sign. Josh was conscious, then more good news, movement. You know, anytime that you see you're in a situation like that and there's a sign of movement, you know, it, you, you know you're not necessarily out of the woods yet, but it does it is comforting that you that there's something, you know, movement. And when you're down there, you just always want to try to reassure the person too, because it's a scary situation. You know, I mean, not necessarily know where they are or what's going on, and you know, all of a sudden you have all these people, and, and uh, it's you know just nice knowing what's what's happening to you. I would want that if I was in that situation. So. Um, and then to know that you appreciate it makes you feel good too. I remember hearing some of the guys and uh, Coach Ruff saying, uh, you all right, Hulk? Yeah, I remember that. Uh, <clears throat> I remember yeah, a little bit of some of the fellas just telling me to get up and um, a thumbs up. And then they said I gave them a thumbs up and the crowd went crazy. Just like Jayhawk, he's always trying to get everybody going. So it was a little bit of a tearjerker there for a second. I uh, had to recollect my, you know, my mind and get back in game mode. So, uh, but it was, I was just glad to see him fine and uh, make sure he was moving okay. After a week of rest, Josh was back at practice. He was plenty grateful for the trainers and the team doctors who were so quick to respond. They really uh, love us. Like, this is just a big pirate family, and uh, I'm sure Jake was on, and they staff was on uh, me first. I'm Brian Mudor for the Ruffin McNeil Show. Today we're going to continue with our great freshman class. We're with true freshman Larry Williams today. Uh, Larry was another freshman that came in second session summer school and did a great job for us. Uh, Larry's six foot four, 328 pounds, and he moves very well. So we're stacking them in here with this freshman class. I'm real excited about them. Today we're going to demonstrate super slow motion snatch grip deadlift. All right, Larry's going to start from the top position. And the great uh, thing about this exercise is we're firing a lot of muscle groups, and we've got a lot of time under tension. So we're using the upper back. Of course, we're using the lower body, we're activating the core. And so this is a great exercise for size. Okay, we're gonna use an eight second count on the way down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up one, two, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, up one, two, a little slower on the way down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, up, two, good, one more rep. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up, one, two, great job. Uh, you can see from Larry performing that exercise that not only does he have great posture, but he has really good flexibility. Uh, he had a good strength program in high school, and so he's already got a great jump start coming into our program. Uh, we feel like he's going to step right in somewhere on our offensive front next year. Camp Connors is brought to you by these local nationwide agents. North Carolina has thousands of miles of road, and they can take you just about anywhere. And with Nationwide Insurance, the number one insurance provider in North Carolina, you'll be protected on all of them. So whether you find yourself on the Blue Ridge Parkway, or cruising along the Beltline, 
Nationwide Insurance has you covered. Nationwide is on your side. For a free quote, call your local Nationwide Insurance agent, Jim Walker in Kenston or Jeff Howard in LaGrange. Weather vanes are one of the oldest methods of weather prediction. While there are a multitude of designs, the most sensitive weather vane is this rather unattractive dish shape. It detects rain, sleet, snow, even wind. You know it's working because when the bad weather comes in, your TV signal goes out. Quite ingenious. Outdated satellite technology is no match for clear, reliable TV from Suddenlink. Each year, fans choose ECU physicians more than 400,000 times for specialty and family medicine. They got me back to a winning weight. They fixed my heart valve. He deserves doctors and specialists that are trained just for children. You can trust ECU physicians too, because they're the same experts who train the doctors at the Brody School of Medicine and make up the largest, most comprehensive medical practice in the region. That's smart medicine. ECU physicians, smart medicine. How do you measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge. The drive to innovate. The commitment to improving communities. And the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. This week's Look Ahead is brought to you by the Eye Care Center, eye doctors focused on you and the official eye care provider of the Pirates. Welcome back to the show. The Pirates go on the road again next week over to Murfreesboro, Tennessee for a first ever matchup against Middle Tennessee. Rick Stock still is the coach. He was at East Carolina at one point. Yeah, I've known Stock a long time. Again, I guess just like Larry, I've known Stock and Stock's done a great job in Middle Tennessee. Great, great. Great person, great coach, but better person. Uh, I know he have his football team ready to go. No doubt about it, Ruff. Enjoy this one at least for 24 hours or so, and we'll see you next week. I will, JC. Love you, brother. <laughs> Love you, Ruff. A big, big win for the Pirates in this one. 55-31 over North Carolina. Join us next week for Murfreesboro and our report and our show from Tennessee. Have a good week, everybody. The Ruff and McNeil Show has been presented by U.S. Cellular. Hello, better. The Ruff and McNeil Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.